to my YouTube channel is you here daily with Alexis and I am back with another nursing diary video nursing diaries video I don't know why they came out like that uh, I think we're on episode five so today is another lecture day and another exam day <clears throat> we've reached the point in the semester where we have exams every single week now and we just came off spring break so like i don't understand why they did that give us an exam right back after spring break like if the scores are low they gonna know why because why would you do that but yeah um i didn't do the whole look you ready with me thing this morning because it's honestly the same thing um i know a lot of people may ask about my sweatshirt it is from etsy um it is currently y'all can't see on the phone too much in the background it is currently 724. Um, bag is packed. Lunch is packed. So I'm about to get ready and head out. I just want to get on here and say hey and give y'all a little synopsis of what's going on today. So my first class is concepts. And then y'all know I have a four hour break in between that class. So my next class don't start until one, which is my repro class. I hate that class so much. I hate that class so much. Like which is so weird because I thought I would love that class. I love the specialty itself and like the babies and stuff, but the actual class, the didactic, no, we do not get along. So, and then after that class, then I have the exam at four o'clock. So pretty much not gonna be leaving school today until like f almost five, cause we get an hour, well, almost an hour to take the exam, so. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on for today. I'm finna get ready to head out, and I will see y'all at school. I don't watch my tongue with niggas. I ain't got the phone on niggas. Get my daddy, bitch. I'm big, mama. Every time y'all... So, I didn't bring y'all in class because I got there, like, 12 minutes late in the lecture. I already started, and I need to start taking notes. I was like, whatever, but if we done with class, it's... 9 24 y'all know this next class don't start until one so i'm just gonna study for my exam yeah my simple nursing stuff um i feel pretty okay about this exam i don't feel like the material is like too hard like yeah so I'm just gonna see her and study for the meantime. And went right back to school in August. And, like, I haven't had no time to enjoy my life for real. Like, to travel without having to worry about a fucking assignment being due. Like, it's just, I'm contemplating. Like, is all this shit even going to be worth it in the end? Which I know it will. But, like, this is just where I'm at mentally. Especially once I did my planner for April and I just see like where we have exams every fucking week and they're on Mondays, which means you're going to spend the whole weekend before studying. So like, it's just miserable. Like, I couldn't imagine doing this for two years. Like, I'm in a one year program and this shit is hell. And the only thing I can think about is like, we only got like a month and some change left in this trimester. And I'm not even excited because I have to do this shit one more time. Like all over again. Like another fucking 14 to 16 weeks of this. Like. That's just where I've been in mentally. I'm over this shit. It's like I got senioritis and I ain't even at senior level yet. Like I'll be a senior next term. But. Yeah, that's just how I feel. Like, I just wish I would have did 
when I graduated from my first undergrad program, I wish I would have went through with nursing then. Then, now I would have already been a nurse, had a job, boo de boo So, yeah, this just where I'm in mentally. It's just exhausting and it's draining because everything I do usually revolves around this. Yeah, I just want to vent to y'all because I ain't even gonna fake like I'm finna sit here and study this for the next two, three hours. Like, at this point, it's either I know it or I don't, which is kind of sad because, like, I should be utilizing all my time. But, like, I don't have the motivation for this no more. Like, I literally said to my mama yesterday, like, I want to drop out. Like, Hey y'all, so I didn't get no lecture content for y'all today because honestly, I'm over it. I've told y'all this earlier that I'm over it. Like, especially my repro class, like every day I lead a class, I question my sanity. Like, I question my mental because what are we even talking about in here? Like, what we still have a little bit of time to go. The example. It's not until 4 o'clock. It's 2.34 right now. So, I don't think I have any more mental capacity to study. It's like I want to, but I feel like at this point, I'm just going to burn myself out. Like, yeah, I'm ready to go home. Mm, yeah, that's the update. We got clinical tomorrow. Of course, I can't get no clinical content for y'all, but this is a realistic nursing school day in the life because, like, every day is not going to be peaches and cream. Every day is not going to be fun. And, yeah. Hey, y'all. So, I'm home from school, as y'all can see. And,. I just want to talk to y'all and be a little bit more vulnerable with y'all because I'm already getting emotional. I ain't even started talking for real yet, but um, nursing school is always like glorified as being like this fun like thing. We always showcase like all the different skills and stuff that we do, but the reality of it is this shit is hard as fuck. Like it's mentally draining. Like. It's just, it's hard. And I know that nothing that comes easy, you know, you should want nothing that comes easy. But I feel like it should not be this hard. Like, clearly, if y'all don't know, that I failed my fucking exam. I'm like, I'm trying not to cuss, but like, I'm just, I'm fed up. Like, y'all know how I was already saying earlier, like, I feel like I should never jump right back into school. And I really feel like... That's where I'm at right now, like, like, right now, mentally, I'm over it, like, I don't even want to do this shit no more, like, if I'm being completely 100, like, if I were to drop out today, I would be perfectly fine tomorrow, like, I could move on with my life, like, this, uh, it's like, I seen a girl on video, on TikTok yesterday, and she was talking about um she in law school and she only 20 years old and like she supposed to be young as her right now but instead she's stressing over like school and I literally like feel like I'm in the same boat as her like I'm 23 years old I really haven't even got to experience my life yet because I went straight from one undergrad program to another so like I didn't get time to experience nothing outside of school so right now i'm just physically burned out like even over spring break like it was cool to have a break but knowing that we had a exam the first day we come back to from spring break is crazy like and i feel like they so trifling for doing it like it's just like i said nursing school is always glorified the, the skills the you do this you do that but 
it's fucking blood, sweat, and tears that come behind it. It's like, <sighs> and I'm trying so hard not to, like, let it get the best of me, but that's all I can do right now. Like, it's literally my life revolves around school. Like, so, <sighs> I'm just tired, y'all. Like, <laughs> I'm so tired, and especially because this semester, like, I already said in my last exam, like, I mean, my last video did, I failed two exams, then I turned around, and I failed another exam right before spring break, and then I just failed another exam, like, I thought this semester was going to be way easier because I only have three exam testing classes. Last semester, I had five. And so, I'm trying to hold on to that faith that, like, I made it out last semester by having five exam testing classes, which means I was having two exams a week. But, I don't know. I just feel like the content now is just so much it's heavier and then last semester we had tutors for each class they did not give us that this semester so the tutoring sessions that i'm trying to use are from previous semesters and of course as semesters go on the teachers they change stuff so it's like the, the tutor is not even reliable anymore it's just i'm just frustrated y'all like and then y'all already know, like I said in my last video, I have been having a horrible clinical experience with my clinical instructor. She is brand new clinical instructor and honestly, she don't know what she's doing. She's not equipped to be a second semester clinical instructor. Like y'all haven't been able to pass meds. I haven't started no IVs. I haven't did nothing nursing related, but literally just sit there and work on care plans and like... If I wanted to do that, if I want and the stuff that I am doing there, taking vitals, if I want to do that, I would go to work. Like, I would go work as a CNA if I wanted to do that. I came to nursing school to actually practice nursing skills, and I'm not doing none of that. So, that on top of the exams, it's just like everything is just compounding on top of each other. And like I said, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm just, I'm just physically burned out. Like. I don't have no more energy for this. Like, <sighs> anyways, I'm done rambling. I just wanted to give y'all uh, the real deal behind nursing school. Because, like I said, it's always glorified. Gl glorified is being this fun, cute thing when it's not like. So, this is probably going to be the end of today's portion of the vlog. Tomorrow is clinical, so I'm not even excited about that. Like, I just hope and pray. I email my instructor and let her know about our clinical experience, how it's been going thus far. And she was supposed to talk to my clinical instructor and, you know, have some changes for Nick's, for Nick's. Well, for the next following clinical. So, hopefully, tomorrow is better and I actually get to do some nursing stuff. But, yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. So, it is the next morning. And I still don't feel my best mentally. But I do feel um, a little better. Um, my little snippet with my little rant yesterday, um, I posted it on TikTok because I'm like, I don't know. I just needed another outlet to vent. Like, I still been doing my journal and stuff, but sometimes you just need to say it out loud. So, I posted on TikTok at like 11 o'clock last night. And I have gotten, like, so much love and support from so many different people. Like, people that don't even know me. People that do know me. Like, so, that gave me a little, a little fuel to keep going. It's just, it's hard right now, but I know 
it'll eventually get better so i'm about to get ready and head out the house this is how i did my hair for today i just kind of like twisted it back and then i just put it into this low ponytail so it is out of my way it is 5 13 right now so i really need to leave the house in just a few minutes and y'all really didn't even get no sleep last night like it's hard trying to go to sleep when you got a heavy mind but Usa, I'm going to let yesterday's problems be yesterday's problems. And today's going to be a new day. I'm going to be hopeful that I will have a better outcome at clinical today. And I will try to get any footage that I can. But y'all know, more than likely, I probably can't. But, yeah, I just want to thank y'all for being on this journey with me. Because, like... Y'all seeing the ups and the downs of it. And so, hopefully in the next few months, by the time graduation roll around, I can look back on these videos and maybe even laugh at it. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but, yeah, so I will talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. So, I didn't talk to y'all after clinical yesterday because it was a hot mess. Like... A hot one at this point we don't know if we're gonna get a new clinical instructor or what because once again the same thing happened to me my patient keep getting sent off the floor and it's partially it's not partially it's fully because my clinical instructor is not thoroughly looking at the patient's chart before she's assigning them to me, Are you talking to me? no so yeah that was pretty much clinical yesterday we actually had to have the instructor of the whole course come up there and talk to us because it just was it was a hot mess but anyways um I just met with my teacher for my repro class because that's the class I'm most concerned about right now like yeah most concerned about the class so <clears throat> um, I'm about to actually do some work <clears throat> for a repro now I'm, I'm about to do some work for repro now y'all know we had repro on monday i don't have anything today luckily so i'm about to just relearn everything that we talked about on monday and yeah um i'm trying to debate if i want to get out the house and study i honestly don't like i just kind of want to chill in the house so um we're probably gonna do like Hello, stay. As y'all can see, the little timer just went off. I'm almost done with this module. I'm literally on my last slide. But I'm handwriting my notes because it just it helps the information stick better for me when I handwrite them. So, yeah, I'm just handwriting my notes. And then um, I have one more module to do. So... My hands are probably going to fall off by the end of the day, but it's fine. Um, I already feel a little bit better about this class now that I'm going through the modules and I'm kind of connecting the dots from what we talked about in lecture. And I'm going to also do that after I do uh, finish taking notes on each module. I'm going to go back and listen to the lectures that I recorded directly from my teachers to just see if they talked about any information that I may have missed or whatever 
so I'm about to take a, of course, a little 10 minute break, and then I'm going to finish up this module, and then I'm going to start on the next module. Hey, y'all. So, I finished with my module, and um, I rewatched and, like, re-listened to, like, the lecture portion of it, and <clears throat> adding notes to that. So, um, taking a little break, and then when I come back home, I'm going to do the other other module I have to do but uh, me and my boyfriend we finna go get some food little lunch day right quick and then I'll change clothes y'all if y'all don't know by now this is like my absolute favorite thing to throw on this little cardigan and then I just got on my skim set so we finna get some wings cause I ain't had wings in so long well let me not lie I done had wings but I been eating wings stop and like if you know I live in Memphis, like, what am I doing eating wings stop when we got the best wings in the world? So, we're going to go get some wings, and then, um, after I eat, I need to run a Target, and then we're going to come back home and finish studying. y'all so i am back home from my little date and i went to target as y'all can see and i got the amazon package i'm gonna unbox it right here because my camera kind of died so i got me some more workout shorts y'all probably know this little brand or have seen this little brand These are what the shirt shorts look like. Because y'all tried to put on some of my Nike spandex shorts the other day. And they look tight as I don't know what else did I order. Oh, I got me another workout bag. And it came with this little, little toiletry bag. So, that... Really, this what I ordered from Amazon was like all stuff for like workout purposes because I'm trying to get back uh, more consistent in the gym. And then I got um, what is this? This is not what I ordered, is it? In this little bag, but this is from the little Fit Girl brand, and this is just um, one of the ankle straps for when you're doing um cable kickbacks and y'all know this will really grow your glutes but if you didn't know i just told you so cable kickbacks so they normally have these at the gym like that you can hook on to but sometimes they don't or like i don't know they just disappear sometimes so i just went ahead and bought my own and then the last thing i got was some protein shakes and a big old box um, these are just the Premier Protein Shakes. I know I can get them from like Kroger or something. I just went ahead and ordered them from Amazon since I was already shopping on there. And then I showed y'all what I got while I was in Target. I literally just got pins. Because all of my little G2 pins I got now, I had to find them from like way from Oblivion. So, yeah. That's everything that I just got. I'm going to start back studying. And, yeah. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. I was talking so fast, y'all, because my camera was is on one, and it still ain't died yet, which is a little sus, because it normally had died by now. But, yeah, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Hey, y'all. Uh, so... It is the next day, and y'all tell me why I miss clinical today. Like, I set my alarm last night, I picked out my clothes. Well, I didn't really have to pick my clothes out, but like, I made sure I laid my scrubs out so it'll be easier for me in the morning just to get up and throw them on. And I freaking overslept. Didn't hear my alarm go off. 
And y'all know in the last video about an alarm clock. So this one happened again. And y'all, the alarm, the alarm clock, alarm, the alarm clock, it, it's not, it's not the joint. Like, um, it's difficult to set the time on there. So it worked the first day that I used it. And then, um, I have to be at different, like different places at different times. So I needed to change the time and I changed the time and then I followed the instructions to, um, like set it, set the clock and the alarm never went off. And so I'm like, okay, maybe I overslept and I just didn't hear it or something. So I was, while I was up, I made sure I set an alarm for like five minutes and the alarm never went off. So now it's just there for aesthetic purposes. So that's that. But, um, by the grace of God, they let me, well, yeah, they let me do a alternate assignment, which was some work I had to do on ATI, which was not easy. Like, it was very time consuming. I started on it at this morning. Like, it was like maybe like 7 or 8 when I started on it. And I didn't finish until like maybe like 45 minutes ago. And it's, what time is it now? It's 1.30 now. And so, yeah, that was not, I, it was not an easy assignment. But, um, I'm about to get ready and head to the gym. Because, yeah, I mean, I don't have anything else to do. I think they got done with clinical pretty early anyways. I think they got done at like, maybe like 12-ish. So, I would have had this time anyways to go to the gym regardless if I made it to clinical or not. So, um, yeah, I had, I was supposed to be there. This was going to be our first PEDS clinical. And so we were supposed to be meeting our clinical instructor in the lobby by 6.10. I woke up at like 6.25 to my phone ringing. And it was one of the girls from my clinical group. Like she was just trying to check on me see where I was at and yeah and so I I could have rushed and like threw my clothes on and made it there but it still was gonna be after seven o'clock by the time I made it there and I didn't want to hold the rest of my clinical group up so yeah I just was like okay I'm just have to take my L for today so I emailed the um, while I texted my clinical instructor to let her know that I well, I overslept. Like, I didn't even try to make up no lie or no excuse. I just told her the truth. I'm like, I overslept. You know, I apologize for any inconvenience, but I will not be able to make it today because I live far from the hospital. So, she was just said, okay, make sure I let my instructor know. And so, I did. And then, she emailed me back and was like, I could do the alternate assignment. Which I'm so glad she said that because I looked in the syllabus for the class and it was like, if you miss clinical, you just get a zero for the day. So I am so grateful and appreciative that she did that. But from here on out, we're not missing no more clinical days. Like, no. Because that ATI assignment was OD. But yeah, I'm going to go to the gym, y'all. So I will talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. So it's the next day. And I am on my way to school. So today is lecture day. And we have concepts today. We have peas and <clears throat> a genomics class. And genomics is like environmental determines the health, social determines the health, all of it. So we got that class today. So we're looking to be done around 3 30 ish today. So yeah. Um really don't have nothing to say right now. I'll talk to y'all at school. Hey y'all, so we're done with the first class. Next class is 1915. I feel like I'm here like this. I'm gonna meet with my teacher after this class right here. Y'all are so loud in here. Y'all probably can't even hear me, so just scratch all of it. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Work pretty well. Uh, Bagel therapy, bowel retraining, 
Um, inquire about anchor braces if they're having trouble controlling their bowel. See, they're in my 30 days. And I'm really not about raisins. Uh -huh. This is just another story. I'm really not about raisins either because one kid ate raisins and didn't really chew them up good, and they just totally lined up for esophagus. <laughs> and they had to go and get them to the raisins out. So make sure it's in this history. I am a GI nurse. Like, I've respirated GI nurse. I can I can actually smell food and tell you what the diagnosis is. I can tell the difference by it all the time.